Hi there, today I'm going to show you how you can set up some random spawns for your enemies. First of all, I will create enemies and make some quick enemies. Drag this right here. Right click, create empty. We can call this enemy cyan. Drag this here. Then you can uh, duplicate this. Either press Ctrl D or right click. Duplicate. You can rename this enemy red. Enemy yellow. Just change the sprites, drag this here, drag this here. You now I have three enemies. Create the folder, right click create folder, all these prefabs. Drag all of them there. One at a time. Then you can delete this from your scene. Now we need a script. So right click, create, T shop script. Let's call this spawner. We need a new game object, create empty. Spawner. Drag this over here. And open it up. So first of all, we need to make a public game object array. This means it's more than one game object. And we can call this enemies. Enemies. Then we need a spawn point. Public transform spawn point. Then we need a random int, private int rand, and we, you can choose wherever you want if you want them to spawn when you press a key or a timer, so we will make a timer. So we need a public start time between spawns, sorry, a public flow. And we need a private float, float time between spawns. Then we make the start function. So we say time between spawns equals start time between spawns. Then we need the update. In here we can say if time between spawns is less or equal to zero we will spawn an uh, enemy instantiate enemies at the spawn point spawn point sorry misspelled this spawn point dot transform dot position we don't need any rotation, so quaternion dot identity fix that. Okay, you can see here where it says zero. If you save this, go back to Unity, and in the spawner, we can drag our prefabs. Oh, you can. Select your spawner and hit the lock here. You can drag all your enemies here. You can unlock this again. Select spawner. See, number zero is enemy sign. So we will spawn enemy sign for now. And how often? 
a real one in a second, maybe. And uh, we need a spawn bunk so we can create the entity. Spawn point. We can make a red thing here. Okay, go back to spawner, drag your spawn point here. And um, go back to Visual Studio. Let's say else time between spawns minus equals time dot delta time. And we need to reset the timer after spawning an enemy. So time between spawns equals start time between spawns. So let's te test this out. Go back. Play. You can see over here it spawns. We can fix uh, Richard's body with the uh, go to prefab and add component Richard's body 2D on every and here. I can show you again. Sign, sign, sign. Okay, now we want the random thing. Okay, so in here you say rand equals random range between zero and enemies dot length. So now we can replace this with rand. Go back to Unity. Play. See a red, yellow, 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 red, sign. Okay. If you want to spawn on different places, we can duplicate our spawn points. So go to spawn point, duplicate, duplicate, and go back to spawner. Lock this up again here. Drag your no. I forget the thing. We need to go back here first. Make this an array. And we need to make this an array as well. We can set the round here. And we go back here. You see now spawn points is an array. So we drag this over here. Spawn points. And back here. Make another private in. Rand position and here rand position equal random range zero spawn point at length I replace this like that. We can go back. You see one spawns here, one here, one here. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.